Yes, po, sir. Okay. So, uh, this afternoon, we'll be discussing fish population dynamics. So, actually, this is uh, sa field ng fishery, uh, fisheries, sa masters. This is a one, uh, one semester course, fish population dynamics and trophic monitoring. So, ngayon, i-discuss ko siya, uh, introduction to fish population dynamics. Okay? So, yan. So, fish population. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng population? And how does it differ from the term stock? Okay? So, it is said that the population is a group of individuals of the same species living in the same area at the same time and sharing a common gene pool with little or no immigration and immigration. Yan ang definition natin ng population. How about stock? A stock is a part of a fish population which is under a consideration from the point view of actual or potential utilization. So meaning a group of fish of one species which shares a common ecological and genetic features. So the stock is defined for the purpose of stock assessment and management do not necessarily coincide with a self-contained population unit. So ibig sabihin, in a population, it may contain several stock. Okay? A stock in this definition uh, differ in terms of potential utilization. Ano ang potential utilization? Potential utilization pertains to the how this uh, given stock or a subpopulation. Okay? Because a stock is a subpopulation. How do this uh, stock or a group of fish in a one species being exploited? Paano siya tig exploit Of course, the term exploitation is a broad term. Uh, concept. But in stock assessment, exploitation is uh, defined mathematically as uh, the fishing rate or fishing mortality divided by the total mortality. Yan pag sinabi natin exploitation rate. Actually, it is called exploitation ratio. Because if you talk about mortality, later on, ma di discuss natin yan, may irong dalawang klase ang mortality. Meron tayong tinatawag na natural mortality and the other one is fishing mortality, which later on, we will be uh, defining. Okay? So, yan. So, an example of natural variation in a population over time. So, ibig sabihin, in this um, two population from uh, population of Pacific sardines, sardinilla species, and the northern anchovy or the Stoloporus species. So if you look at this, there is a peak in terms of the population. There is a fluctuation. You can see that um, there is a variation in terms of the number of individual in a given population per year. Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin nito? It could mean that in that given population, 
There are several stock. There are several stock. Okay? So this is the generalized fish life cycle, which we've already discussed this one in our previous uh, topic, where the adult is on and the egg in the sperm fertilizes to produce egg, a fertilized egg, okay? Then the fertilized egg undergo hatching to produce larvae. Then the larvae grow into a juvenile. Okay? This is the juvenile stage. Okay? Then when the juvenile mature, it reproduce. Okay? So kung titignan nyo, this is the uh, the life cycle of the fish. Mamay, may spawn ng egg, in sperm, ma hatch into larvae, grow into juvenile, then ma settle sila, then mature reproduce and the cycle continues okay so yeah now now let's talk about the basic population dynamics okay so what are the process that drive the population fluctuation bakit nagkakaroon ng fluctuation ang population bakit nagbabago ang kanilang number Bakit nagbabago ang kanilang biomass? Okay? So basically, uh, the population is uh, defined as the number of animals in the next year. This is n t plus 1 is equal to the number of animals in the current year plus the birth minus the natural death after one year. Ito yung tinatawag natin na natural mortality. So basically, the dynamics or changes that occur in the population can be explained by this. Okay? So yan. So let's elaborate further. Okay? Sabi nga ni, let's complicate a bit. Okay? So, yan. So, the basic population dynamics, a biomass version of the previous model. Biomass version. Meaning, ito yung uh, quantity, weight. Okay? In terms of weight, biomass, di ba pag sinabi nating biomass, it pertains to a number of individual in a given area, in a given fishing ground. That's the biomass. Like for example, the biomass of, uh, sabihin natin na, sardines in the West Philippine Sea. The biomass of, uh, Emperor fish. Emperor fish o oh, ito yung tinatawag natin sa uh, sa Bicol na, uh, na alatan. Ano? No. Uh, Emperor fish uh, litrinos bukawon. Okay? So yan. So the biomass dito sa uh, Lagunoy Gulf and sabihin natin biomass ng uh, yung kuwaw, Praia Cantos dito sa Albay Gulf. Saan yung biomass niya? 
So basically, the biomass is influenced by recruitment and growth that contribute to the increase in biomass. The decrease in biomass is due to death. Okay? Ang pag-increase ng biomass is due to recruitment and growth. Diba ang sabi natin, ang biomass pertains to weight. Okay? So, yung previous recruit, yung small individual na nakadagdag as a result of uh, recruitment in the previous spawning bout or spawning period, lumaki sila, nag-increase yung biomass, eventually it increases the biomass of the stock in the given population. Same with recruitment. Ang recruitment, yung nakadagdag as a result of spawning. Okay? So I repeat, pag sinabi natin biomass, it is the mass or weight of living biological organism in a given area or ecosystem at a given time. Take note of that. At a given time. Yan. So the biomass, the mass or weight of fish in a given area or ecosystem is defined by this one. So the biomass of the fish next year, because we can predict, okay, we can predict the biomass for the next year. Okay? Actually, ang stock assessment and trophic modeling, it's a modeling technique. Okay? So pag sinabi mong modeling, you can predict what will happen at a given scenario in a given condition. Okay? So, yan. So, the biomass of the fish next year you are predicting can be predicted by computing the current biomass plus the biomass of the current new recruits plus the additional biomass. Additional biomass of the individual fish that is already present on that given area or ecosystem that grow yung lumaki. Nag-increase ng size. Therefore, increase in size. Growth is, definition is, increase in size in the, at a given time. Okay? Minus the biomass of the fish from current population that die. Okay? So that's how you determine the biomass for the next year. Okay? So you can do this. You can predict or you, can ab you will be able to determine the possible fluctuation. Ano ba ang mangyayari next year pag ang current biomass ay ganito? Okay? So yan. Now what is a recruitment? Okay? So kung titingnan nyo, we are defining this equation. Okay? Itong equation na to. We know what is a biomass. Okay? Ito the current biomass. Okay, what is a current biomass? This is the uh, weight of the fish in the given area. Okay. So next, recruitment. A recruitment is simply refers to the appearance of new young organism in a population following a previous reproductive event. Okay? 
So, yan. So, there are four alternative recruitment definition. Sa demography, recruitment usually refers to the maturing of individuals into the adult age class sa demography. Sa fishery science, ang uh, pag sinabi nating recruitment, it is usually defined as the appearance of new cohort in the catch due to it becoming big or old enough to be vulnerable to fishery. Okay? Next. Particular definition on fisheries definition number one. The population is still alive at any specified time after the egg stage. Fisheries definition number two. The number of fish alive in a population at any arbitrarily defined point in time after subsidence of initial high mortality. So, kung titignan nyo, dito sa, for the purpose of our discussion, itong definition muna, number two. Hello po, ma'am. Apa. the life history stages from when an adult population spawn to when an individual produced by that spawning event enter the adult population. Ito yung tinatawag na recruit. Okay? Enter to the adult population. So yan. Adult production of gametes, I spawn, fertilize, larval development within eggs, naghatch. Okay? So, yan. So, some process that may affect egg production, egg condition, and larval survival. One that affect is fecundity. One kitty. So, we've already discussed what is fecundity in our previous lecture. Okay? Ito yung number of egg produced per given individual. Okay? Fecundity. So, recruitment is affected by fecundity. Adult condition. Quality. Okay? Third, environment. Good fortune. So kung titignan nyo, itong uh, tatlong to is uh, uh, directly contribute to the success of recruitment. Okay? Environment, good fortune. Siyempre, pag magandang environment, meaning sufficient yung food. Okay? Pag sufficient yung food, the quality of the adult, yung adult condition, My spawn sinda, they are in a fit or better condition. So alam naman natin na pag maganda ang condition ng organism, ang fecundity niya mataas. Yung number of egg produced, mataas. And not just mataas yung uh, number of eggs produced, but the size of the egg is relatively larger 